small dog badly burned. We blurred parts of this image because it's too graphic to show. Elk Grove officers tell us this dog would not have survived if they hadn't found her. To have an animal that had to suffer for at least a minimum of two days before we found the animal to receive care, it, it really is. It really pulls at your heart. Tonight, KCRA3's Richard Sharp is live in Elk Grove with what happened to the dog and how people can help. Richard? Yeah, it was near the intersection of Elk Grove Boulevard and Elk Grove Florin, where animal control officers, since they were called, said someone had a dog in their backyard that wasn't theirs. When they found this little dog, they said they could actually smell the infection on the dog's badly burned body. Puppy dog eyes, a plastic cone wrapped around her head, and a body wrapped in holiday green bandages. Despite all that she went through, she's still a loving, caring dog. Animal control officers named her Holly because she was found just before Christmas. But what this little Karen Terrier went through is something that animal control officers here haven't seen before. Not the severe, no. I mean, this is probably the first one that we've seen as far as the severe burns and everything else. We've seen neglect cases, but not to this extent. When Holly was found, she had second and third degree burns over much of her little body. She was found with no collar, no tags, no microchip. Animal control says in the two weeks they have had her, no one has come forward. They're looking for the owners and answers. In the two weeks she's been with Elk Grove Animal Control, Holly has come a long way. You can see how far her wounds have healed. She still has a long way to go, but you can tell from just playing with her, this dog has a sweet disposition, the disposition of an indoor dog. And this is Sparky. He's, he's three years old. So. And Salvatore and David Peterson live near where the dog was found and have a terrier of their own. He loves everybody. They, like most people, are stunned at how something like this could happen to such a small, loving dog. It's heartbreaking. It's mean. It's wicked. Why would you do that to a dog? God, or to any, any, anything, period. And that's what animal control wants to know. But they add, they don't know if the burns are the result of an accident or intentional abuse. Without, you know, putting all the pieces to the puzzle together, it's really hard to determine exactly if it was an accident and the owner got scared and didn't know how to treat the animal or what the circumstances were. Now, caring for the burns on little Holly's body is expensive. She's already been there for more than two weeks. Animal Control says if you want to help, they are asking for donations. Holly still has several more weeks.